morning. Good morning, everyone. Got happy Wednesday. Today. Is it, happy, is it yeah. Wednesday? Yeah. yeah, it is Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. happy hump day. <laughs> Had to think then. Yeah, I was like, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Is it, is it really halfway through the week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. It's halfway through half term, too. No high school, oh, then. Yeah. I don't want the well, week to end. That doesn't, um, that doesn't bother me because obviously Jax isn't school age yet, but yeah, yeah we're getting away with, it, with that whole, whole school, schooling thing at yes. the moment. Are you having a nice half term? Are the kids enjoying their break? Yeah. Going lots of places. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a bit cruel saying that. Yeah, we yeah they not. can't really go anywhere, can they? Lots of walks, maybe. Yeah. And pancakes yesterday. Yes, the ginger pancakes, we did. Yeah, I had far too many. Far too many. Um, right, we've got some early good mornings from, so we've got Emma, you are the fastest fingers this morning, Emma, good morning. We've got Gemma, Sophie, another Gemma, Lauren, Samantha Pavey, Mary, I don't everybody. know why I particularly chose Samantha out to say surname, I don't know why. No, you liked her surname. Yeah, obviously, yeah. maybe it's because it's one I could pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, lots and lots of people joining us this morning. So, this morning we are discussing... The um, upper baby range, aren't we? Yeah, we we've got um, two of the pushchairs out, and we've also got their car seat out as well. So, um, if you're familiar with the range, um, then you will know that they do the smaller cruise, and we're now on the V2 version, and that's what we've got here. And then you've got the larger Vista V2, uh, which is your single to tandem pushchair. So, whether you're buying for siblings, for twins, or you're just future proofing after your first child, you're expecting to have more children not too far down the line, then your Vista is your man or your woman. Yeah. Sort of whichever. like a big and little sister, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> um, so yes, the lots more morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Everyone who has already said good morning to us, obviously you are in a chance of winning our prize. So yes. our prize today, we have a choice <coughs> because you are in with a chance of winning a Claire de Lune sleeping bag. They are naught to six months, yeah. um, 2.5 togs, there you go, it's all the boring bit out of the way. <laughs> yeah, so nice and thick, so perfect for the weather that we are at the moment. They're nice and lined. This is your blue waffle design. You've also got your stars and your stripes, which matches if you have any of the other bedding, which is really popular from Cledolin, stars and stripes. They've got the sleeping bag. everything in stars and stripes, yeah, don't they? You can get the do. whole lot. The whole range. And then you've also got the pink, I can't remember, the, oh, it's over there, cotton dream. <laughs> I'm just going to turn it around and have a look at the label. No, the Cotton Dream at Sleeping Bag, which so, is the yes, pink so one. So you'll get to choose out of those three colours. Our lucky winner will have the choice out of those three, which one they would prefer. And obviously, as all you have to do to enter is just comment on the um, live, join in with the um, discussion that we're having. So all of you have already said good morning. Obviously, you are already entered. Um, and obviously, just ask us any questions. Join in with the chit chat. We like a chat. We do. We're good at chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, so where shall we start this morning? Should we start with the smaller cruise this morning? Yeah. So the Cruise V2, they made some really um, big changes on the Cruise V2. And I think now it's not too dissimilar. There was quite a big difference between yeah. the, the Cruise, the original Cruise and the original Vista. But now no, there's a lot of, of similarities between them yeah, now, isn't there? absolutely. They've increased the basket size, so it's now much bigger. The um, chassis is slightly lengthened. Um, and then you've got the bigger, taller seat unit as well. So I'll just switch this over to your carry cot so you can see how you would use it from birth. <clears throat> yeah, I made it all pretty by putting the carry cot on there, but obviously yeah. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine, <laughs> I can switch it over. So as you can see, it's actually at the moment stood on the upper baby carry cot stand. So you can use this with a cruise carry cot or your Vista carry cot. Um, and I'm just going to check the price because I can't remember this one. Um, 159.99, but it means that you can use your carry cot as you're inside Moses' basket as well and got somewhere to stand it. So whether you use it upstairs or downstairs, your carry cot is suitable for um, permanent overnight sleeping if you choose to. So if you want to make the most of it and not have a, a separate Moses basket, you can do that. Um, I think it's a great way of getting it like off the floor. Like I mean, you and I both have dogs, for instance. Yes. Or if you have younger children, and it's nice, you know, it's secure and it's out of the way, yeah. isn't it? It's nice and stable, and it also you can flip this up and then it does fold quite compact. So if in the day you want to just fold it out of the way and you're not using it, you can do that as well. So you carry cot as you just saw there. It's really easy to remove because you've just got you you one-handed button removal. So you've not got to press any buttons. You can just press and lift away, and the same goes with your Vista yeah. carry cot as well. So this is the Emmet colourway. Um, I think this is one of my favourites. Yeah, it's a nice colour. I do it? like it. It's, it's, even though it's this kind of greeny colour, I think really it's a, it, because of the tones in it, it's quite it's a unisex. It's not like a shouting, no. vibrant, bright colour, is it? No. But like you say, it's, it's very subtle. Yeah. 
ju like just green colour. And because of the texture in the fabric, you can you can probably see from there, um, you've got more of a, a plain fabric on the vista we've got over there, but your grey one there is a melange texture as well. So <clears throat> you've got a pull-out sun visor, which is perfect as we're heading now into the spring. Um, hopefully some sunny days on the way. Um, yeah. you do well, fingers crossed, we've got fingers our fingers crossed. crossed. We're hopefully, uh, hasn't it been warm this week though? Well, it's everyone's been saying that, but I'm the one sat in the office still by the I heater. Know. It's I a feel, little bit different I in the feel office, the cold. but outside. Yeah, I, I did say warmer. actually today, I didn't have to wear my coat when I got out of the car. Now that's an improvement. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, today we had all that snow last week and then this week seems to have really warmed up. So hopefully it's on its way. So you can see you've got your ventilation panels, which are still going to not completely block it off. It's still going to let air ventilate round um, the carry cot for you, but it does stop any sunlight getting onto baby and then just tucks away neatly inside if you don't need it you do have an extra ventilation panel by unzipping this here and pulling that out of the way and again plenty of air getting in if you've got warm days or if you do decide to use your carry cot in the house warm houses obviously you can make sure baby doesn't get too hot in there just going back to the stand, I have got a question here from Lucy Ann. Yeah. Could that also be used for a baby bath? Unfortunately, Lucy, it is only for your carry cot. It uses the adapters that your carry cot uses to attach. It's the same um, carry cots here. You can, however, if it, depending on what bundle you buy or further down the line, if you wanted to, you can convert it into a laundry basket. Yeah. So, so you once get, you're no longer using your carry cot, you get fabrics to put inside, don't you? Which you is do. handy. It is. <laughs> it's, it's all about just so many baby items are like, in and Short out, term. gone. Yeah, you use them for so little time and it's almost a waste, even if they're really good while you are using them. You're very um, short lifespan on some items, but I think Upper Baby, with a lot of their products, they're trying to, to increase the time that you spend a lot of money. You yeah, can then get the use. most out yeah, of them. Absolutely. So, your apron on your Cruise V2 is zipped into place. I'll just move these out of the way. But you can see in there, it's beautifully lined. It all zips out as well. So, I've, I've had a Vista. And it's, I can confirm it is really easy to just unzip these and wash. Nice thick padded mattress and you've got your ventilation holes in the bottom there as well. You can flat pack your carry cots, which is how they actually come. So if you are struggling for space, you can pull your stands out like with most carry cots and just yeah. flat, flatten it down a bit a little bit. So that's your carry cot. Like I said, it's really easy one-handed removal. I think that's one of the best features about that. Yeah, because quite often when you get to the car or even if, you, if you're walking into the house, you can have your hands full with other things, whether it be other kids or, like you say, dogs or yeah. shopping, whatever it may be. You always seem to have plenty of things in your hands when you, you look do. after a little one, don't you? You definitely do. <laughs> and folding your pushchair and stuff, it just makes it easier, doesn't it? So you, we have got the uh, matching, coordinating, um, changing bag rucksack there, which just poppers on to your handlebar and gives you a bit more space in your basket. And then I'll just model it for you. <laughs> Beautifully modelled, <laughs> Kelly. Beautiful. <laughs> I have to say, though, with, the, with both the cruise and the Vista basket, I don't think you'll necessarily need extra storage space. No. Because the baskets are so big. It but is. It is a really big basket. It's spring-loaded on the back, so if you need to uh, make it easier to get in, you can just pop that down a little bit to make it easier when you've got your carry cot or your seat unit on top, but you've still got plenty of space anyway. So just looking at the chassis, you can see it is a little bit bigger than the original. So they have lengthened it and made that basket much bigger. Just got your bar down the middle, which you can obviously separate it if you have got different bags in. And you also got a couple of pockets on the back, which you can either pop your rain cover into. Um, and this one's kind of like a bottle shape with a little bit of elastic to hold it steady as well. So you can pop your drink bottle in there or baby's bottle. So you can fold um, both the cruise and the um, Vista with your, ca uh, with your carry on, not with your carry on, <laughs> with your seat on. <laughs> But I will show you how it folds just so you can see it quite plainly. The brake is just to press down on the red lever. Look at my pink socks today. I didn't time that well. <laughs> I had my boots on earlier and now my uh, bright pink socks are showing with my trainers on. And then push down on your green to unlock so it couldn't be an easier brake. Front wheels can also be locked off. Got a green indicator to let you know that they can swivel. Press again, the indicator will go off and that locks them into place which is really good if you're going over different terrain or cobbles, things like that, hold you in a straight place, straight position. So to fold, 
Slight difference with the two, handlebar if you want to free stand needs to be in the uh, most extended position on your Vista, but in the cruise it needs to be in the lowest position. Just pull your triggers back, drop down, and it will rest on the on So the easy to bit. do, isn't it? Really easy. Probably one of the easiest folds. It's just so smooth, isn't it? It just does it all for you, really. <laughs> yeah, drop it down. And then you have got a lock on the inside, just pull your automatic lock off. Lift your and handlebar. I, what I love about it, it's such a tiny, tiny thing, but what I love about the knock on this is that it's hinged. Yes. Some of them are just done on you tension. You have to force it, don't you? And you, you have to force them, whereas yeah. this is nicely hinged, really easy to do. It's, just, it's the small <laughs> things that make me happy, I tell you. When I, Simple when, things. When you're a parent, though, sometimes it's the small things that make yeah. the difference, isn't it, with, with items that you might be using. And this is coming from someone who plays with pushchairs all day, every day, so it's the tiny things that I notice. Yeah. <laughs> well, most of the big things, they're very... Are much alike aren't they yeah. it's just little things that change that are going to suit people differently so once you've used your it's a bucket seat so use your caricot for the first six months and then you can move baby into seat unit obviously it is shaped even when reclined you've got that shape there you have your foot rest you can either have up for baby or you can have it down for longer legs really easy to adjust your harness which i love that they've put this on both now you just pull this just put that back on there Pull this up and down so no matter what they're wearing on the day or the size of the child you can just slide it up and down for the perfect fit so elisa vetter i'm really sorry it might be vita i don't i'm really rubbish at pronouncing names so i do apologize is the seat safe for babies after six months of age i know it's not completely flat guess baby can't sleep in there for long periods so yeah we do say six months up for the seat because of the bucket shape they have got they the do. infant snug seat which we have here. So if you decide you don't want a carry cot, so you don't, your Vista always comes with your carry cot, but you don't have to buy your cruise with a carry cot. So price wise, I've written these down for you. So your cruise with a carry cot is £939.98p, but if you want to buy it on its own, it's 677 for the, just the push chair. Um, but it actually, I did check earlier, it's on the offer on the website for 599 so it's quite a good Ooh, saving at the yeah. moment. Um, so if you wanted to, you can then buy the snug seat, which is obviously a lot cheaper than your carry cart. The little wedge just fills that gap in there. I'm not going to put it in properly because I'll be taking it back out in a second. <laughs> but then what that does, it fills that gap and then creates a flatter, better position for baby to go in. You still need to harness them in. Obviously, it's not um, a, a, a got sides on like your carry cart, so you do still need to strap them in. Your harness just threads through that. And we have found as well that you can use your cosy ganoush, which is the upper baby foot muff, with the newborn insert as well. So if you are thinking about that, it is a possibility because we tried it. So it is a bit of flexibility there, like you say, or if you, or even if you wanted to move into the seat a little bit earlier than six yeah. months for any reason. Babies Some babies don't amazing. like the carry cot, do exactly. they? Exactly. My so two just... eldest did, but my youngest hated it, so <laughs> I had to move them out sooner. So yeah, so it gives you that little bit of added flexibility there, that option to move on if you want to. Then obviously yeah. after six months, you can take that out and they are then safe to sleep and doze in there as long as they want. Yeah, you don't <laughs> have to worry once you got to that stage. So I've just unzipped the hood there so you can see it's a nice big hood. Used to have the same pull-out visor as your carry cut, but they never now made the extension panel fabric and you've got an extra ventilation panel. So you've got two. You've got one in the bit that's already out and then you've also got the one that appears once you unzip as well. So loads of ventilation. Stop them babies from getting sweaty. Yes, because they are prone to it. They are, yeah. <laughs> so you've got uh, one, two, three, four positions on your recline. And then just press your buttons on either side to spin your seat round. Once baby's ready to look at something else than you. Which Zara Cave has just put, I agree, so this is obviously going back to my little comment about the hinge on the, yeah. the thing, she's put, I agree, the little things make a big difference, I still love the lights on last week's Pram demo live, I can't remember the name, so that would have been your Jules, Jules. Day Plus or your Jules Hub Plus, yes. just to let you know on that one Zara. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you can obviously have that pulled out, it's going to offer lots of shade and protection and you've still got your recline positions when baby is napping. So your seat unit can go um, from around the six months mark mm -hmm. up to 22 kilos. Which is a really, really long time, isn't it? I yeah. mean, you're not really going to outgrow, no. outgrow these pushchairs no. unless you wanted to change it for any other reason. And like we said, they have lengthened the seat, so both the um, backrest and the legrest is now longer 
to make it last you longer. And you can adjust your footrest. So if they do like to sit with their legs up and a bit more supported when they're younger, you can just pop that up or pop it down and they can use both footrests to either climb in or to um, just rest their feet. So folding with your seat unit on, all you need to do, it's the same as before, but with your seat on, just pull your triggers, drop down, free stands, and you can just pop your footrest down if you want to. Um, that easy. Yeah, it doesn't change really how you fold it in any way, no, really, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, you've just got one more step just by yeah. folding that down, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to either. You can make it flatter, obviously, by removing your bumper bar as well. And then it's not too bad shape to then grab and pop in your boot. Yeah, and you your can rear wheels. put it in on the side or you can put it in flat if your boot's big enough. And yeah. I do think it, it does sort of save you a little bit of space doing it that way, doesn't it? As having your feet having, on. Having, having yeah. separate. But if, I'm just I a bit lazy. Else, it saves you time. Yeah, I'm it, lazy. I like to just fold and yeah. push it in rather than take it I just want to get up. in the car and go. <laughs> it's raining. I don't want to put it down and then put your thing in. It's just quite handy to have it like that. You can remove your rear wheels if you need to. And again, we've got Laura's favourite little automatic lock. <laughs> Any you're going to remember that now. Every time you every show time. this, you're going to be like, oh, Laura, Laura loves lock. this lock. It hinges. Laura's look at it. Lock. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions about your cruise before we move on to the Vista? I think we've covered them, to be honest. There was one asking about the seat folding with the pushchair, and obviously we've done that. Yeah. So, no, I think we've covered everything. Fab. Okay. Oh, someone so, did just ask what the colour was called again. And this is Emmet. Yes. Comes in lots of different colours. So we've got Finn over there in your Vista, and then we've got Jordan, which is your charcoal grey. We um, do have, um, have a couple of swatches here. I don't know yeah. if our cameraman. So Gregory can is they have a blue. Some, they have some. They, they name everything, don't they? Every, yes, every colour has a name based on the name of children's working for Upper uh, yeah. Baby. Yeah. I'm trying to get right. my words out then. Yeah. So any staff member at Upper Baby. As a child, they might use that name for a colour. So we've got Gregory. Emmett is the one we've got out. You've got Jordan, which is your charcoal grey over there on the Vista. And then Jake is your black fabric. Do you have others as well, but I think um, those, are, so those are your cruise yeah. options, aren't they? But yeah. do you have a couple more on your Vista? You can also, this is the um, Mesa I-size infant carrier that you can use um, from 40 centimetres, which is birth up to 78 centimetres, or a maximum of 13 kilos. This can pop onto your chassis of your pushchair without the use of any adapters, which is really, really handy. That always pleases parents when they're looking around, don't they? Because they yeah. realise that pretty much every other brand, we're using some you form of adapter, and yeah. then we go, this one, we don't need anything. They go, yeah. oh, yeah. that's clever. So it's just <laughs> another thing that you don't have to lose, you don't have to think about, you don't have to make sure you put it on the right side. It's just quite easy to pop on and then remove again with your button. You can also belt this one in, or you, there is a specific isofix base you can use it on. It's eye size tested, um, £199 for your car seat, um, and your base is £157.50. Or you can, and there are on our website, there are bundles available, aren't there? there so are, you can sort yeah. of buy everything together if you wanted to. Lots of different bundles with the Mesa car seat, with different car seats. You can also bundle it together with like all your extras, like your stand and your hamper. Um, blankets, I know they do a blanket yeah. in one of their bundles. They're reflective. You can get little reflective um, yeah. inserts for your wheels, things like you that. You can go completely all out and yeah. have everything or just the essentials. Yes. <laughs> you just go, I want to get everything that I possibly <laughs> need. I'm choosing that one. <laughs> We've made it easy for you. So, as you can see side by side, take the break off, the um, Vista is a bigger pushchair, but it's not a massive difference. You've got bigger wheels, so if you, you find or think that you're gonna be uh, going over more different terrains, um, neither are completely all terrain, I'm gonna walk through the fields pushchairs. No. Um, but for, for most terrains, you're not gonna have a problem. The Vista's got much bigger wheels to take you over different things, and they've both got suspension built in. These arms here are your suspension arms as well. Oh, I always have to I always have to make a mention of this if he gets a mention. So cameraman's had <coughs> a mention again today. <laughs> Me and my friends watch you every weekday morning. My baby boy Bump loves listening to you. He wriggles so much. Thank you, ladies and cameraman, for keeping us entertained and up to date with all the products during lockdown. Oh. That's from Gemma. Thank you, Thanks, Gemma. Gemma. That's so nice to hear. Thank you, Jose, as well, for filming <laughs> and having to put We always say we couldn't shatter. be here without him. No, wouldn't not be at all. wouldn't be as good with us on a selfie stick. No, it wouldn't, <laughs> no. 
We did actually, when we first did it, we had one of us had to run over to the camera, it was on a stand, and, and do it because Jose was busy with other stuff, and now we've just stolen him for the lives yep. every day. Nicked him. You can't have a day off, Jose, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so yes, yeah, so this is your Vista. I'm just going to move the cruise out of the way a little bit. We'll be back in a bit, cruise. So your Vista V2 um, has had some updates as well. They've changed the um, seat unit again, made it longer, and had the fabric insert as well. So this is your carry cart, very similar to your cruise carry cart. Has your zipped in liner, beautiful um, padding and mattress and liner inside. So once you start going through them, you really start to see the similarities, don't yeah, you? Like absolutely. all the fabrics are the same, it's yeah. just slight, slight size difference, only, only infinite little, little bit. details. These are car seat adapters, so if you do want to use car seat adapters, you can get them if you're going to be using a different car seat other than your Mesa, because obviously you don't need them for your Mesa. But if you want to use a different one, you can buy them and they're about £30. Um, pop your hood down with the buttons on the inside. If you want to be able to see baby or they're a bit, a bit nosy, you want to look at the sky, <laughs> the stars if you're walking in the night. And pulls back and locks into place. But the same pull out ventilation, um, sided sun canopy, the reflective material. Again, stop any heat. It's a big focus. Well, this is already unzipped. And then you can pull that out. And you've got your ventilation panels back. I mean, it's ventilation panels go. It's one of the bigger ones, isn't it? It is. It's well, huge. It's the whole the back, other. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So definitely, definitely. Some are more just like a little things. mesh window, aren't they? As yeah. opposed to a whole, a full panel. But you have got lots there. And again, you've got the button on the centre. Really easy. One-handed removal to take your carry cut off. Again, you can use it on your stand. You can use it for overnight sleeping. So we've got lots and lots of love for all of these, the colours and different things. I do have um, a question here from Lucy. And how long is the carry cot? So we don't have the exact dimensions on us, Lucy, unfortunately. But if you did want to know specifically, you can always send drop us a message and we can quickly yeah, we can measure um, it for get you. back. Or it might be on the website you. as well. It it's might about be, this yeah. long. <laughs> yeah. oh, about this long. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so but if you do ever want any exact dimensions, obviously do get in touch with us. We're happy to measure anything we have in store for you. It's yeah, not a problem. Absolutely. Um, just a little reminder because obviously we're getting lots and lots of comments in. Anyone who does comment today, you are entering into our competition to win our lovely prize, which it today is our Claire de Lune um, sleeping, sleeping bag. A <laughs> <laughs> new bag. I was going to go Claire de Lune bag. bag. No, it's a sleeping bag. Um, you do have your choice of three different patterns. They are not to six months, and um, yeah, they're lovely, nice, warm, cozy, cozy way to keep your little yeah. one well, you want nice pink, and safe. Blue and free. or stars and stripes, it's up I to think the winner. A lot of people go for a sleeping bag these days, don't they? Rather yeah. than rather than the blankets. I think yeah. the swaddle is great for the earlier stages, but when they get a bit more fidgety and wriggly, I think these rather are than blankets, they're a great idea. My, I, I actually took my once he reached twelve months, took him out of his sleeping bag. Gave him a pillow. I was like, oh, you can have a pillow now and a nice duvet. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. I had to put him back in the sleeping bag. And then he slept again. I love when they're standing up as well. You go in in the morning, they're stood up in their sleeping bag and they're like, what, little around? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny stage. That's a good, good stage. <laughs> so this is just the same pedal for your brake. You just press on and you've got green. And then put your brake on and it's red. So it's the same pedal. It's a slightly different to your cruise chassis. Handlebar adjustment, I don't think I did it on this one. You've got handlebar adjustment <laughs> as well. It's often the case that you do a second one and you go, oh, oh I forgot, this one does it too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just uh, giving this one to shorter people, you can also extend <laughs> it if you are taller. So quite a nice, that's too high for me, I'm five foot six and that's quite a high position for me. Probably about there is about right. But you can fold this again with your seat unit on or off. You can even fold it with two seat units on. I know, she's very clever. Very clever. Very clever. So this one to fold um, and freestand, you can fold it to make it smaller in, but if you want it to freestand, extend it out, triggers, there and then it still starts. So basically the same sort of shape, isn't it? Just that little yeah, bit bigger. just a bit longer, yeah. Again, wheels are really easy to remove if you want to make it smaller. Just press your central button. Um, if you want to make it lighter. You have got what we call the tummy gap, so you can lift up and bring into yourself. Pretty, like center of gravity just yeah, makes things makes feel a bit easier to lift. Rather than just it? trying to like lift up, yeah, with a bit of it. It is amazing how like if you if you big, pick up a shopping bag, that's a good example. If you pick up a shopping yeah. bag with those tiny straps. 
it feels really, really heavy. Whereas if you brought it in in a box, Carry it would like feel as bad. bad. So that's, just, that's basically that principle in action for exactly. you. Exactly. Same front wheels that will swivel or can be locked off just by pressing the top. So it's nice and easy to do. Oh, I didn't do it. There you go. They are locked now. <laughs> and you always want wheels. to show you up. There's always uh, one. No, no. Come on, wheels, <laughs> catch up. And um, your front wheels can be removed as well. So it's nice to take your whole chassis in and take all your wheels off really easy to give them a bit of a scrub if you get dirty. Yeah, especially if you've been walking in weather last week. Oh, yeah, definitely. Everything was filthy. So it will be now as well, won't it? It'll be mud and sludgy. Um, right, your basket is probably the best thing on the Vista. I love the basket. You can fit all sorts in there. It's one of the biggest, I think, that we, that we have, isn't it? Yeah, I think the only one that's maybe competing with it is the Gazelle, but I still don't think it's as big, is it? Yeah, and your hub carry cart, your Quinny hub, is quite a big carry cart as well. Um, goes the length of the push chair. Again, you've got this drop down um, back and your pockets to keep your, your smaller so, items upright. As we always say, guys, lots of forgets can go in there. That's the new I measurement, I did hear yesterday yeah. say that, yeah. yeah appar gets. Apparently, I've been told since doing the lives that apparently that is the measurement for a basket is how many baguettes you can get in it. All so right. you can get plenty of baguettes in here. How many? Say. I don't know. I've not done, I've not done the exact <laughs> measurement. No. Oh, okay, then. no, I don't think I could eat that many but baguettes. I've, I've, <laughs> I don't know. Some nice butter, warm, mm. camembert, dip, dip, nice. We That's always end up talking thing. about food on this, no, in wait, this place. How does it get back to food? Um, anyway, kind of going back to food, but I once took my Vista with me to Iceland, did a full week shop. And it all went in your basket. And the woman was like, do you need a hand? Because obviously I've got my push chair um, with me. And she said, do you need a hand to get into your car? And I was like, no, no, it's fine. Filled it up, took my full week shop. And there must have been six or eight bags in there. Okay. I know. I piled it up. And I bet yeah. she was thinking, she was well, like, wow, I need one. Never seen that before. <laughs> so yeah, it is a big basket. I would lost my seat though. Sorry, I've tidied it away. See, so nice. make it all nice and neat. It's nice. So you've got the same principle. It's a bucket seat with your adjustable footrest. Use it around six months after you've outgrown the carry cot and you've got your recline positions again. Your bumper bar is covered in this lovely vegan leather, so not leather, um, and it's perforated, so it's a nice design to match your handlebar, and depending on your chassis, you will get different kinds. So you've got the, the darker brown on your fin, yeah. um, and this is your charcoal, so you've got the black. And then you've, you've got your lighter one on your... Oh, yeah, we've got one. We've got yeah, one of each. Got one of each. I mean, lighter. Almost like we planned it. We did not. <laughs> Don't give it away. <laughs> uh, same as your uh, cruise seat, you have now got um, an extra panel, which is fabric rather than your shiny pull out like on your yeah. cup. Ventilation, ventilation, or forward facing, you can use those as your peep holes to keep an eye on the little one as well. Now, as they grow, you can move this up and down, it slides up and down so you can have it lower for smaller babies and keep the hood around them or you can keep it in that higher position to give them more head clearance and room as well, which is a really good idea for taller toddlers. Sometimes they kind of look a little bit squished up, in there, don't, don't they? they? Yeah, the, the hood's like, very close and will sit on the head or the fabric's around them, so it just gives them a bit more room and yeah, going to let them see a little bit better as well, isn't it? Mm, it is. Claire Barley has asked, do any of these work with buggy boards? You can get... Yeah. so called the piggyback board. Yes, you won't get um, a universal one on here, as you can probably tell by the rear axle of these pushchairs. They're a bit different to others, aren't they? So yes, you do have to use Upper Baby's own piggyback board, but that is available. Um, probably the one thing we didn't write the price down of. <laughs> so, but we can, we can find the price out if you wish to know. Just yeah, send us a message. It's really clever how it works. It attaches to the back of the chassis. Um, and then flicks up in, out of place. You just got a bit on the back to put it back down again if you start using it again. And you can fold the push chair with it on as well. Which is always a bonus. It is, really good. And again, we can fold the Vista with your seat unit on. Drop it all down and then your foot rests down. So it is taller, it is wider obviously with your seat unit on, but is a nice shape to just stand up yeah. if you ever can ever eat out again. <laughs> yeah, if, no, if, when, when, when we sorry, can go and eat out We both have um, chef husbands. Who so. are very bored, sat at home. Yes. So, so we are hoping that yeah. sooner rather than later, the hospitality <laughs> yeah. can get back. Like to kick him out of the house. <laughs> Off you go, go and do something productive. Back to Look, work, please. Playing on the Xbox. <laughs> 
with the children. They are looking after the children. They yes, are. They, they are. are. They're daddy daycare it at the is. moment, aren't they? They are. Um, yeah. <laughs> So that is your Vista, so you can see the seat that sits nice and high on there as well. If you do want to use it as a travel system with your Mesa, I'll pop the Mesa directly on. Like I said, without your adapters. So it's, it's really nice so to... It's so easy, isn't it? Yeah. I love the fact that it's one-handed remover for the car seat as well, because a lot yeah. of them are two-handed, you have to lean over, aren't they? So I do think the yeah. handle coming off that one is great. You've got your hood there, obviously, you can have forwards or backwards and your, your handlebar moves out the way to make it a bit easier to get to baby. Obviously just bear in mind newborn babies don't want to be left in their car seat for longer than um, half an hour at a time so this is more for quick trips into the cart for your milk, um, school run, that kind of thing. But then press the button and it's as easy as that to then just pop and it. And you're already on the handlebar aren't you? Yeah, you've great. not got to try and the you press over, it and then try and to, grab your handle. Yeah, so I think it's just, it lends itself to... It does. And then pop straight in the car if you're using the Artifix base on there. Yeah. Go, fold your chassis. Boom. It's all done to make life as easy as possible. All done. Then, like we said, if you do find that you having children close together or you're buying it specifically for siblings of different ages or twins, you can then push this. We said this is our blue Peter moment. Yeah. Can you make this magic one we made earlier? <laughs> you can then use it um, for two children. Now, the adapters that are on at the moment are your rumble seat adapters. That's your, your second seat that you can purchase. Um, it is ever so slightly smaller, isn't it? It's not it quite is. as long as It doesn't your have an adjustable seat. footrest. No. And but. that is £224.99. You also need your upper adapters, which are these adapters here, to increase that space between the two. £24.99. And if you want to buy the adapters to use a carry cot and a seat unit on at the same time, so using the same things that you get in your box already um, that you've used, carry cot for baby, then they've moved into seat unit, then you've had a second baby and use a carry cot seat unit, you have to buy the adapters, lower adapters, which again, £24.99. So your rumble seat ones actually come in with your rumble seat and that's what's on here. So I'm not going to lie, if you're a newbie, yeah. It can be a bit confusing. Yeah. What adapters do I need for what? But obviously we are here at the end of a phone, email, message. You can always contact us um, to find out what it is that you actually need. And we can send you a nice detailed list of what you need and why. <laughs> if you've got more, more, more than one though, they are labelled, which is nice. So this says rumble seat, this says lower adapter. So your rumble seat comes with your rumble seat. They just clip on. And they're colour coded as well, which is brilliant. Yeah. So there's orange the on side. one side and blue on the other. Right, and then they just slide off. I'm just going to put the carry cart one on so you can just... I really should have done the seat with the seat was on, but... I'm doing it backwards, OK? Slide these off. And then you can put your lower adapters on, which will allow you to put your carry cart in the lower position. So I've got a blue dot here, a blue dot here, so that means it's going to go on this side. And that just slots on. Whilst you're doing that, Kelly, class. I have got um, Emma Norton asking, does the chassis come in other colours? Um, on these two, unfortunately, it doesn't. Emma, you, your chassis is always the same colour. It is your fabrics that you are going to change. Oh, Jake. Jake. Black. Yes, sorry. Jake, Correction. yeah. If you get Jake, that's the only one with that's a different a black chassis, chassis, isn't it? Yeah. So that's your all black, yeah. isn't it? Black Everything fabrics. is black. Black, then. leather, le vegan leather. <laughs> yes, everything's black on that one. Um... So much easier. Mm. So your carry cot will then sit on your lower adapters. So if you're using this push chair um, later on, you can use your seat unit. Obviously, it would match. You use your seat unit and your carry cot that you get in the box when you first buy the push chair. You just need the lower and upper adapters, and then you've got um, a position for a newborn baby down here. Seat unit up here. Now, if you're using this combination, seat unit and carry cot, it is just this one configuration. Carry cot in the lower position, toddler sat up here to chat into you. Um, some people will like this, some people may not be their first choice, but you can just walk slightly to the side and can see your newborn baby. And, and it's kind of a I'm, toddler. I was going to say, if I'm honest, it's normally the older child that requires more attention. Yeah. When a, when a baby's in a carry cot, generally. Hopefully, they're sleeping. Generally, for you. generally they're sleeping. Um, whereas the older child's normally the one going, mummy, mummy, mummy juice, mummy snacks, mummy yeah. this, mummy that, mummy need a wee, mummy this, <laughs> and the other, and you're like, 
well, okay. <laughs> so, so they can chat and they can still, you've still got a, a position or two there as well for a recline if they then go to sleep and you can have your little walk in peace. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yes. Um, Lucy Ann is asking, does it fold with the adapters on or do you have to remove them each time? You don't have to remove them. You can leave all the adapters on um, if you want. So if you're always going to use it for a period of time, you're going to use it in exactly like the same format, yeah. aren't you? Just, so leave, them just leave them on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, this is your configuration. Then there are more configurations with two seats. So you can have both facing you, both facing away, um, one facing one way, one's facing the other. So there's a few different configurations you can use for that. So if I take the carry cut off now. Are you going to change your adapters And back? I need to change my adapters back. <laughs> so baby's outgrown your carry cot and they need to go into the seat unit. Your rumble seat is an additional extra. It's not something that comes included in your box. So you would need to purchase this. But it's only um, really if you've got two that are quite similar in age. Yeah. closer in age isn't it that you're going to need it. sometimes it may be that babe, once baby outgrows the carry cot and goes into the seat unit your older child is then old enough and doesn't want to go in a push chair and will walk or you can get by with a piggyback board or yeah exactly piggyback board is your um option. lucy ann has asked could you have a car seat at the top and the seat unit at the bottom the only seat unit that goes at the bottom is your rumble seat on your rumble seat adapters so if you bought the rumble seat yeah and you already <coughs> had the car seat then yes um but that would be an extra purchase that you could probably get away with not doing yeah. if you are happy for the baby your to be in the carry Your main seat always sits up here and your rumble seat always sits down here and then it's just different things that can go down here. So you can have your carry cart, uh, your carry cart down here, your car seat down here, um, and then your two seats. So Jane Woodcock, can the carry cart go on the top? Unfortunately not. If you are doing two Two kind of single mode, yeah, but there. not with yeah, two. With two, the carry cot is always going to be at the bottom on this one. Um, You've got, you can see your adapter is different to um, your seat, your main seat. So this way, if you've got twins and they're both in seat units, both napping at the same time, this is ideal. Um, you will notice as well that sometimes when you turn some push chairs into a tandem from a single, you lose your basket space, but with this you don't. Even your carry cot on, you've still got space underneath to pack all your stuff you yeah. need which will be considerable with two children i suppose the other option is if you really really wanted baby to be close if you did buy your rumble seat is to get your snug seat for the top seat as well then you've got yes. baby close as well so there are options out there to yep. have baby closer but just with the carry cot the carry cot helps <laughs> if i don't have that always go um, on the bottom um so oh, just gonna go. spin them around the other way <clears throat> So we've already, I think when we first had it out, we had them one facing one way and one facing the other. Oh, it changes every time I put it out. I think. <laughs> every so, time I put it back, it's in a different configuration, I think. So this time <laughs> I'll just pop it on and have both seats facing. <clears throat> That's it. Forwards. So it's a little bit lower, a bit easier to see now because you're not... You can also have it with the adapters on, but it doesn't make it quite... It doesn't give you as much room, does it? So you no. can take your adapters off when they're both facing out. So um, now... I'm sorry, I was just having a little giggle at Kirsty Riley's comment there. She's put, my seven-year-old found you imitating a toddler. <laughs> you're welcome. Very funny. She has a three-year-old sister and says you knew what she was like. <laughs> yes, I do. I know exactly what three-year-olds are like. <laughs> yes. So there you go. You can then, obviously, move your little windows so that they're in the open position so at a glance either forward facing you can see through and just see what they're up to sky newell has said did you say it folds with both seats on it does you can ask me to show it you aren't you yeah no so now they've called you out on it they heard it <laughs> it's a while since i've done this so i'm going to make sure that i do it right so if I remember how to do it. I don't know if you need your higher adapters on actually. Let's see if we can make it do it like this. There you go. There we go. So it does make it chunkier, but yep. that's to be expected when you've got two seats yeah. involved, isn't it? But if you just need a quick down while you're in a cafe or something at somebody's house in the hallway, you've not got to mess about doing everything. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could put it on in your boot like this to make it easier, but then you've If you've got a big enough boot, yeah, yeah. You'd need quite a substantial boot, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Estate car boots would probably be the yeah, 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 or a taller one that you can just stand it in, yeah. like a Land Rover or something like that where you can just stand it up in. But yeah, it does take up more room, um, but for those quick times where you just need to pop it down with basically you can't be messing around, 
you can do that. And then just pull it back up into place. And you're ready to roll again. Veronica's asking, where's baby David? Oh, he wasn't needed today. We didn't have him she modelling baby today, David. did we? Oh, he's not is been he, in a is few. Is he your favourite? No, I don't, I don't think, think we've been out this week. Baby, poor baby. He might have to sneak in tomorrow. I don't even know. It wasn't in um, my lab at John Mundy either with car seats. No, he's not been out. We'll have to bring him out another one. <laughs> bring David out, baby David out tomorrow. I'm not here, but we'll, we'll request it for you. Yeah, I'm going to hide him in the studio ready. <laughs> so when so get here, he's already here. I'm ready. I'm ready for my life. So that is your single tandem or twin. You've obviously got two seats on here for two older twins. You can have two carry cots on here, two car seats as well. So quite a lot of flexibility no matter what you need them. Still got a big basket, still got wheels that can take you over most ground as well. Yeah. So, as we said before, it's not classed as an all-terrain pushchair, is it? No. Because I have had a couple of people asking that. So, unfortunately, yeah. it's not an all-terrain pushchair, but it's going to get you through most things, isn't it? Most day-to-day life. If you -day specifically life. need an all-terrain pushchair, you know you need an all-terrain pushchair, yeah. I would say. You know the sort of walking yeah. that you do, but for, for sort of general, everyday... Yeah. Most the people, the woods it's going to be plenty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, going through the woods and stuff, park pathways over grass, it's going to be fine. It's just going to be that true hard stuff that there are fewer mm. pushchairs that can cope with that. No pushchair is amazing over everything. No. You've got no. a bit of... I mean, I do a lot of bridal way walking with the dogs and things like that, so an all-terrain pushchair is great for me, but I still find times where I find it easier to carry Jackson than yeah. I did to push the pushchair. So. Yeah, over stars and things. Yeah. Lifting a full pushchair is not the easiest. <laughs> so have... Especially when they're all dirty and muddy. Absolutely. Have we covered everything? Ganoush. 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 I haven't covered Interesting ganoush. name for a footbuff. Yes, it is. Um, it is a more expensive on the single. Muff, but yeah, because then it's matching, isn't it? But it's a beautiful foot muff. We are big fans we of this are. foot muff. I can't remember. We want adult sized ones, really. I was going to say, my one was up to like minus, it was suitable for minus 10. I might I say on remember. here. Say in your back. Say on here. Yeah, minus 20. Oh, minus, minus 20. 20. So this is the cozy so ganoush, this is the newest. Wherever you are, this is going to... Yeah, there's yeah. not many close no. places it gets lower than minus Although 20. Although there was some place up in... Like, there's a little island just off the north of um, Scotland. Yes. And they said that during all the snow and stuff, it got down to minus 16. So there you go. This is what you need. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So this allows for your um, slide-in harness because it's just got your gap that then velcros up. So you can just pull your harness through there without having to re-thread. Um, and still can fasten it up there. This you can either have around them, like a little, it's so soft, so soft in there. Yeah. Um, like, like a little a big hood. Crazy sleeping bag. It is, yeah. Or you can actually just move your hood out of the way and tuck it backwards over the top of the seat. I'm not going to do it properly because I don't want to take the hood off, but you can tuck it completely out of the way around it. It stops it slipping down as much as well. This has got magnets, so you can magnet that down in two different positions over the bumper bar and then one of the really clever things this is in your shortest position like we've said about them longevity wise extending your use and um, made the seat units bigger it drops down quite considerably for longer legs which is all the way down to the basket. Got, I want one to sit on my sofa yes so do I yeah <laughs> has anybody got those kind of really cozy like massive oversized hoodies Oh yes, just love a good. But we were talking the other day, weren't we? About we're both blanket girls. We love yeah, a blanket on the sofa. We were quite proud to snuggle with yeah. a blanket on the sofa. We were saying, weren't we? Both husbands will say, "Oh, it's not a good sign." The blankets, blankets come out. out. <laughs> the lights are off. The fire's going. It's nap time. I'll be asleep in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so your little Velcro bits just fasten it to your frame and keep it um, in place. And then you've got a really nice cozy space there. Like we said earlier, you can use it as well with your newborn insert inside there to make a newborn space and really cosy and protected for a yeah. newborn as well. And colour-wise, you can get this to match basically whichever... Most pushchair, most colours. Which, yeah. which colour you've chosen pushchair-wise. Yeah. Um, would it fit in a travel bag for taking on a plane? Well, this is why I brought this in. So this is the bag it does come in, so it does come reasonably Do them in tidy. the ganoush or the actual pushchair? Oh, that's a good point. They do also do a travel bag for the pushchair. They push do, chair. do Upper Bay do do a travel bag for your pushchair, which protects it. And I think if you register it as well, it actually gives you guarantees, a guarantee whilst travelling it. Yeah, so if it's travel insurance. Yeah, so if it does get damaged, you're, you're still covered, covered. Which is great. It is. Because um, it is always a worry, isn't it, when you see how they uh, 
Yeah, and a lot of people, that's why they revert to using maybe a stroller that's not quite as comfortable, not what quite what babies are used to because they don't want to take their full push chair, but at least the travel bag you are covered. But yeah, if you're talking about the ganoush, that also mm. comes in a bag which you can keep and keep it protected or during the summer months you can pack it away, can't you, when you're not using it. The other thing I think is great about this is the way it attaches, it's fairly universal really, isn't it? Yeah, you could use that you on anything with the way the harness is. Yeah. So if you really, really love it, yeah. you could, and you've got you a different could still use it on a different pushchair. Um, I do have a couple of people just questioning about the weight limits on the when we have it as a double. Yeah. So obviously with your rumble seat, like we say, it is a slightly smaller seat. Um, weight wise, so obviously on, on a single, your um, seat goes up to 22 kilos, doesn't it? When you have it as a tandem, it does change slightly, doesn't it? Yeah, so you're two 15 kilos. Yeah. 15 so kilo. if, um, if and once, once they're both over 15 kilos, but 15 kilos is still going to get you to a good two and a half. Well, for us it didn't because we've got big well, boys, but... <laughs> Yeah. In chubbers. general, <laughs> and you know, then we like to call them chubbers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should three years you. old and twenty-one kilo. Yeah, he's he's a he's a hefty lad, isn't he? Good job he doesn't want to be in a push chair anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Although as a single, he would still fit in this, but he does he like would. to walk everywhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Anything else? No, I think. Any more questions? Do you want to draw? I think we can do our prize then. So yes, so thank you for all your comments and joining us today. Obviously, all your comments are in the chance of winning. So let's see who's won the Claire de Lune. I was about to say foot muff. <laughs> sleeping Claire bag. Claire de Lune it's a sleeping sleeping bag today, It's Laura. called the cocoon, but this is not the prize. <laughs> um, right then. So all we're going to do then to um, draw our winner is I'm going to flick through all of your comments and Kelly is going to shout stop and we will... Um, Stop on a random comment and that will be our winner. And then you get to choose which colour you would prefer. All right. Oh, stay like that, is it? So, Ooh, it did. <laughs> right, I'm going to start scrolling and I'm going to let you watch you. You're just going to stand there and watch me do it for ages. You always give good long pauses. I do, yeah. You like to I like create to the give suspense. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Okay, I've stopped on Tasha Kirk. Well done, Tasha. And it's obviously an early comment because it's saying good morning, ladies. Oh. <laughs> we did get So far. I managed to get all the way to the top. <laughs> so I'm just going to reply to your comment, Tasha, with a congratulations. But do get in touch with us. Just drop us a message on Facebook. Yeah. And um, let, let us know, know which you one you want. Pink Cotton Dream, Grey Stars and Stripes, or the Blue Waffle. Waffle. The doggy. <laughs> It's so not got dogs on it. Dog. <laughs> it's Declare. just blue. <laughs> yeah, you can always tell who's got uh, toddlers, can't you? Yeah. Did that go? I'm hoping that that went. Nice. So, well thank done. you very much um, for joining us. We are back again tomorrow with another live, another great prize. We're not going to tell you just yet, but we no, we're going to keep you in suspense later. So, tune in at eleven o'clock, and we will uh, be here to answer any questions you've got and go through another subject for you. Um, congratulations to our winner today. Yes, congratulations, Tasha. And your Hopefully, prize. you um, love the Cruise and the Vista V2 as much as we do. Yes, big, big fans in the shop. Yeah, yeah. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.